Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Let's Kill and Our Science. Today we are going to talk about the acidity test. The natural acidity of milk when it comes from the cow is about 0.13 to 0.14 percent. It is expressed as lactic acid. It is mainly derived from phosphate and casein, and to a lesser extent, citrate and carbon dioxide. The lactic acid level is about 2 mg in fresh milk. As the milk ages, the bacteria proliferate and produce lactic acid. Once the total acidity reaches about 0.18%, souring can be detected by smell and taste. The titrable acidity test is used for quantifying the acidity in milk. This test should be used for samples from milks which are suspected to be a sour according to results of alcohol and or clot on boiling test. Now let's see how to do the acidity test. 10 ml of well mixed sample of milk is measured into a 100 ml Ellen Mayer flask and 10 drops of 1% phenolphthalein indicator is added. Then the sample is titrated with 0.1 in sodium hydroxide until pink color endpoint is observed. Finally, titrable acidity is calculated according to the, this equation. Here you can see how to calculate the titrable acidity. If the titrable acidity of milk is between 0.1 to 0.18, it is concluded as normal fresh milk. If the tartrable acidity is less than 0.25, the milk can stand pasteurization and should be accepted provided other requirements are corrected. Milk which has tartrable acidity of 0.25 or above is not suitable for processing and it will clot during the pasteurization. High acidity means low pH. So now you have an idea about titrable acidity and its procedure during milk processing. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.